to my channel the productive girl today in this video let's unbox and review the ink bucket 2022 planner let's get started so first we have this thank you card from the ink bucket team so i went with planner plus calendars combo first let's have a look at the calendars and the freebies then let's start with the planner these are the freebies so first let's start with this beautiful tote bag it has very pretty print over it it's pretty good to hold all of our planning essentials like can keep our planner pouch and a little stationary essential for planning in this tote bag and the quality is really nice this is the first freebie next we have this coaster with another nice print over it and we have these cards with this holder which is really great and they have given these beautiful prints they do have the ink bucket branding at the bottom it perfectly holds the picture and it's really cute next we have this pen slash pencil pouch the quality of this pouch and the tote bag is similar and it's of very good quality again the print is so very pretty i really like the prints and this is how the inside of the pouch looks like and we do have the branding over here it's a pretty pouch next freebie is this pocket notebook and it says pocket notes and when we flip through we have this notebook belongs to and then we have a lot of blank pages so it's really tiny and cute and it serves as the best purpose to keep in a handbag as a pocket planner as well to just jot down on the go it's a nice addition and the final and my favorite freebie is this one it says stay sharp sticky notes and it's given in this design which reminds me of my school days it's so nostalgic and so nice and when you flip this is how the sticky notes looks like these notes are so pretty so we have a section for notes over here and a to-do list and like page markers or flags we have and also we have these small rectangular sticky notes as well it's nice that it's just not one sticky note but also of different sizes these sticky notes are cute and aesthetic i really like it these are the prettiest freebies that i have received now let's move on to the calendars this is our 2022 wall calendar this is how january looks like i love the quality this is my first ever order from ink bucket so i can really see their quality and premium look so this is how the calendar layout looks like we do have these special days mentioned at the bottom these little squares are perfect to write any important deadlines event and everything but also you can't write a lot you have to keep that in mind this is what the february looks like So this is the overall overview of the prints of 2022 wall calendar. It's pretty big and it's pretty nice. Next, it's time for our desk calendar. This calendar looks even more prettier. So let's just keep it as this. So this is how the January page looks like. The square size is similar and we do have the special days mentioned at the bottom but also we have the note section we can use this note section in multiple ways like we can write our goals for the month or we, if you want to take it as a motivating or like self-care thing then you can write affirmations for the month over here as well so that you can keep reminded of those affirmations throughout the particular month it's pretty good for the desk calendar so this is the desk calendar and wall calendar of the ink bucket planner i forgot to mention i picked the variant birds in paradise and coming to the packaging this is how the packaging came in it's a pretty big box full of amazing goodies it's well packed and safe now it's time to unbox and flip through our ink bucket 2022 planner i just love the box it's so so pretty and I love the fact that they don't have branding anywhere. So we can use it any way possible. So let's just unbox the box. It's a sturdy box. And first we have sticker book. So it says make it stick sticker book. These are the stickers. So let's have a quick look at the stickers first.
and pretty stickers now let's have a look at the planner guys it's so very pretty and i have picked the spiral bound variant because that's my favorite uh, kind of planners so it's it has this golden detailing of 2022 and has birds design all over it and we have the branding at the back coming to the spiral quality it's really premium gold foil it's really good so let's flip through first we have this planner belongs to page wherein you can write your name and your details next we have the big ear and it's a note from the ink bucket team then we have the yearly calendar layout for 2022 and 2023 as well so we can have an yearly overview next we have these activities first is describe the year that was so we have to write about 2021 in this space and we can write about 2022 in this space so like our big plans and what our goals and everything we can just write anything and everything in these spaces it's like saying goodbye to 2021 and hello to 2022 when we flip through we have this unique thing which is making my terms for 2022 It's like committing to ourselves. For example, let me say the channel name and read it for you guys. This is to acknowledge that I, the productive girl, have entered into an agreement with myself to make the most I can of the year ahead, to make plans and just as importantly, make good on those plans, to make well-being among the returns in my pursuit of success. I acknowledge these or the unequivocal terms for living my best life in 2022 and that I am signing up for big changes and big commitment with the expectation that big things will happen for me before the year is out. It's so unique and well thoughted I should say. So it's like an agreement to ourselves. I really like it. It's a it's a positive start to the year. And we have this quote which says With the new day comes new strength and new thoughts. Next we have a vision board. We can draw, doodle or write about things we want to visualize achieve in 2022 or we can stick pictures as well. So it's a nice to space to do that. And we have what's new normal with you. It's like what new kind of things that we want to like do. So they have mentioned like we will leave you to figure out how you want to shake up your routine. Start with a list and go from there. pick what works drop what doesn't just brain dump write our plans or what we want to do and everything it's of dot grid pattern then we have let's set goals and make plans page so we have two pages for that so first one is a yearly thing like work goals personal goals health goals financial goals relationship goals other goals and then we have like top priorities habits to adopt habits to cut new skills to learn do more of do less of things it's like for a yearly spread and then we have like a monthly thing so we can just spread it over our goals and plans in this page to every month we can just plan it according to that so that we just not setting our goals also we are making plans to achieve those goals it's really a thoughtful exercise for goal setting then we have year at a glance we have 31 days here and jan to december is mentioned it's really cool to have a year at a glance we can use this space for different ways and i can think it of like a mood tracker we can easily track our mood in this so that we can have like a year at a glance like how happy or sad or nice or energetic we were in 2022 or i can also think of this thing which is we can describe our day in one word okay it's really enough to write one word in the box so we can write one word for each day so that we can just have a overall overview if you are a person who doesn't like to track your moods then you can try this one word a day thing then we have birthday page wherein we can write our birthdays anniversary special days everything and we have one notes page with dot grid pattern then here comes our january layout we do have monthly tabs so we can quickly access the particular month this is how the january page looks like it's a beautiful flower print then we have the monthly calendar layout with a really nice box to fill out our deadlines meetings everything then we have notes page in this we can write our monthly goals what we have spread it here we can just write it here as a reminder of our goals or we can use that space as a random thoughts as well next we have for this month and we can write our intentions and agendas and we have to do top 3 priorities new things to try in this month and we have a tracker like habit tracker we can track six habits at once and 
then we have I'm looking forward to important dates and we have expenses notes and doodles. One thing I can say it is that this expense column is pretty small. Maybe for some people it might be it can be uh, the right way but if you like have a lot of expenses bills or if you want to track each and every expense that you spend in your life then this might not be enough next we have the weekly slash daily layout so we have january week one we have a space for weekly affirmation which is affirmations are really powerful and can change the way you think and feel if you really believe that so it's really nice to have weekly affirmation section we have dates and then days and we do have these little doodle thing like dot grid pattern we can doodle or draw anything so we have few lines over it and it is horizontal so it can be used as a journaling as well as daily planning as well then we have weekly reflection and weekly plan for each and every week do our flashback to our memorable moments of the week weekly expenses and this is a section for gratitude and it's like carry forward like anything that needs more time we can have a note here so that we can transfer it to the next week then we have weekly plan like work goals and personal goals and meal plan as well so we can plan our meal we can divide this into three columns and we can plan our breakfast lunch and dinner and here we have the top priorities for the week and the shopping list as well so it's really nice that we have the these weekly reflection and weekly plan pages for each and every week which is really great and also it's it, it might be better if we have these weekly plan at the start of the week okay so we can plan the week and then we can just plan the day so it's like we have to see this weekly plan each and every time that's just one thing that i feel and then we have week 2 and the same weekly reflection and week take plan week 3 after completing all the weeks we have monthly reflection we can write about our setbacks big challenges and our goals and progress and everything and we do have a notes page left so that we can just transfer this page into anything that is not given in this planner or you can just doodle or brain dump as well so we have two sides for note section so this is how the monthly layouts look like or intended towards improving ourselves for the better so i really like that and i really impressed about the weekly reflection pages for each and every week reflection gave us space time and insights to improve further on ourselves so it's really great and Let's just have a look at the cover design of each month as the layout will be similar. This is how the February looks like. This is a March, this is April, this is May, this is June, this is July, this is August, this is September. This one is for October and it's November and then December. Let's see what we have at the end of the December. For December ending, we do have few blank note spaces left in order to bring down or just write whatever. You can use this space for anything. and then we do have stickers at the back of the planner we have 1 2 3 4 and 4 sheets of stickers these are the stickers that we will be getting in the planner itself we have a back pocket wherein we can store our stickers or notepads sticky notes or whatever so this is the ink bucket 2022 planner my review for this planner is it's simple minimal and it's so elegant it's of really premium quality i really love the quality of this planner and also is focused more on self like self care self improvement so simple minimal and functional planner i would say as you guys saw the flip through if you like the spreads of this planner then you can definitely go for it i know it's a bit on the pricier side but it's totally worth it i would say by looking at the quality and everything this is the ink bucket 2022 planner unboxing flip through and my review so what do you guys think about this ink bucket 2022 planner let me know in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click on the bell icon so that you guys can get notified whenever i post a new video and i shall see you guys in my next video until then be positive and spread positivity bye bye